I'm Andrew Holcomb with Dagger Kayaks, and we're here today to talk to you about the Nomad series. Uh, this is one of my favorite boats of all time from Dagger. This boat excels in all kinds of different types of whitewater, um, from the steep creeks to challenging big water, high volume, really kind of does it all very well. And it's not just for those paddlers at the top of their game, it's really kind of for anyone that's looking to maybe challenge himself and get yourself a boat that'll take care of you while you're trying to do that. We're going to go into a little more depth on the Nomad here. First off, this boat comes in two sizes, the Nomad 8.5 and the Nomad 8.1. Um, Nomad 8.1 being the smaller of the two. And you want to think about this a little bit. This is a, kind of a high performance boat. And just because you're a smaller paddler doesn't necessarily mean that you want to be in the smaller boat. You want to give both of them a chance. Okay, first off, I want to just show you the rocker profile. This boat has good stern rocker as well as good bow rocker. What this allows you to do is it's just real forgiving and it makes it easy to paddle, makes it easy to get up and over stuff, makes it really easy to boof, which is super key when you're running these kind of tight and technical bits of water. And on top of that, you notice it's got very even volume distribution. This is another good thing when you're paddling down this technical stuff. It's got lots of volume, good distribution, keeps you on the surface. Okay, when you're challenging yourself and running a little bit harder white water, it's nice to be on the surface on top of the water. So I want to talk to you a little bit about the safety features of the Nomad. First off, if you start out with the whole boat, I just want to point out real quick that in addition to the four grab handles, we also have an additional two points of attachment here, and so that comes to a total of six. And that's just important because it gives you lots of options. Again, these are safety features, so it gives you lots of points to attach your boat to ropes, to carabiners, or whatever in a variety of different situations. The other thing we want to point out as we move inside the boat here is just the step-out pillar that's in the front. If you notice, first off, that it's plastic, and what that does is just make your boat really rigid. Okay, if you do get into a pin situation, it's been really hard for this boat to fold onto your legs and keep you from getting out. This plastic pillar is going to provide the support to keep it from doing that. In addition to that, you notice that it curves in a little bit. And what this curves allows you to do is give you lots of room for maneuvering in your boat. Okay, If you do get pinned again, you'll be able to disengage your knee from the thigh brace, draw it back, and actually put your foot on this due to that curve. It gets it closer to your feet. You can put your foot on it and that allows you to get a little extra leverage to get out of the kayak in a pen situation. 